Hello, I'm Ms. Stryan and I teach AP Biology. Welcome to all of you and thank you for watching this. I have a link posted on Schoology with this same presentation if you'd like to go back and revisit any of the slides. I want to start by thanking you for your time, your patience, um, your understanding as I try to figure out how to teach through remote instruction and for all of your students with the amount of work that they're putting in for this class, they're trying labs at home, their patience with me. I'm just so grateful and I'm really looking forward to when we can be here in the classroom. Here is a little bit about myself. Um, my, I have two kids, they are very involved in all kinds of things. So on top of this crazy remote learning schedule, I'm running around to football and cheer and tumbling and um, karate, all kinds of stuff. Um, I love to play sports like running and basketball. I used to be a coach. I love to cook and read and spend lots of time with my family. I went over these expectations on the first day. They're posted um, on Schoology. We're doing great in our class, but you know, being on time, they're there unless technology is a problem, and then they're contacting me. Um, I do like when their videos are turned on. I know everyone's not comfortable with that, so if they could just add a profile picture to their Zoom so I can still see their face. Um, everyone's using their names, they're muting themselves, they are asking for help. It's so important in this course. So whether it's through chat or Schoology or just unmuting and asking for help, raising their hand, I'm sure there's other students that are having the same question and it's really important that they aren't hesitant to ask me for help or to slow down or go over something again. Um, Lots of active learning. We've done several labs already this year. They have their big bag of lab supplies, so it shouldn't be a surprise that we're gonna keep doing labs and utilizing those breakout rooms so we can work together on group activities. Here's how to contact me. Email is the best. I try to respond within 24 hours or sooner. If it's on the weekend, it might take a little bit longer. Um, and the students have been really good about sending me Schoology messages whenever they need anything. There's a detailed syllabus that's already posted on Schoology. Here's some of the basics. This is an AP college level course, so it's definitely challenging. We have the exam scheduled for May. We won't hear any details about the format of that for quite some time, I'm sure, but we're all hoping and fingers crossed that they're in person this year. So the course focuses on four big ideas the enduring understandings that go along with those big ideas and the science practices. We just took our first quiz and it was all just on those practices, but we'll continue to utilize those practices like asking questions, making claims, analyzing data all throughout the year. We meet one block per class, so that's on Tuesdays and Fridays, and then every other week we also have a lab block. So on um, B week, we actually meet Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. The grade calculations are the same as they are for all the science courses here at Midlakes, 50% for exams and quizzes, 30% for labs and projects, and classwork, homework, participation, warm-ups is 20%. I've tried to stress this week for students not to be concerned about the grade, and that I would love it if there wasn't. My focus is on them truly understanding the content. With labs, they submit them, I provide them feedback, and then they can correct them. I'm not here to penalize students, I'm here for, to correct them and to point out areas where they can improve. The quiz that we took, I told them that the emphasis should, emphasis should be on their own work, so I can give them authentic feedback on how to improve, and I try to let them know that I'm not to stress about the grade itself. If and we'll continue to talk about that as we move forward. I know it's hard not to stress about the grade when you see it as 50%, but I'm hoping once they start to see how I enter these in the grade book, it won't be as much of a concern. 
here's tentative dates. So we were just taking that quiz and we haven't really quite started evolution yet. So my tentative dates are very tentative and will be flexible throughout the year. I go almost in the order that's recommended by the AP exam or by the college board, excuse me. Um, I just do evolution first because then I can make connections to that topic all year long. And it is one of the big ideas. All right, we are tentatively scheduled to take our exam um, on the 14th at 8 a.m. All right, so where to find things on our Schoology page? Um, updates, sometimes I'll post updates, especially on a Wednesday. I have the links for the Zooms, although I send them out to the students every day, or each day we have class, rather. Um, past assignments, if someone's fallen behind, they can still submit the work. Word Wednesdays, I'll talk about a little bit later. And then for each unit, we'll have these folders and a spot for the daily agenda in case a student misses class, a spot for the warm up, a spot for notes, and then there will be folders for lab. So, typical class period schedule, we will do a warm up. They do it before they start the Zoom. And so that way we can talk about the questions once we're all there in the Zoom together. Sometimes there's direct instruction. So I'll go through a PowerPoint with them that I will have shared or I'll share afterwards. And then there's group activities and lab work, working in the breakout rooms or completing a lab together or completing a lab in the breakout room. I try to have students share with me or submit through Schoology their work during class time or they have 20 to 30 minutes off of the Zoom to work on their um, assignment and then get it to me. I'm trying so far to keep minimal work outside of the Zoom. As we delve into our um, topical units, they will have to do some reading assignments. Each Wednesday, I still have to take attendance. So we're using Wednesdays to focus on the, the root words. They're very helpful in biology for learning the vocabulary. Um, so this is something I used to do on Mondays and then quizzes on Friday, and I've changed the format to have it work with our remote environment. This is what a typical warm up would look like. This was today's, and it helped us review right before our quiz. And then these are the daily agenda slides. Anything that's underlined like this would be a link so they can go right to that warm up. If we did um, labs or anything like that, then I would have links to those different documents so they can just go to this one place to get the documents. That That's the basics of AP Biology. If you have any specific questions, please don't hesitate to contact me through email or through a phone call here to the school. I'm here to help. I am looking forward to getting to know the students more. And most importantly, I'm really looking forward to having them here in the classroom with me. Thank you for your time.